Hello. Nomad Sculpt and Procreate. Teamwork Part 7. Um, let's play around with uh, pure black and white images. Um, okay. I got an example. This is um, a pure black and white image. Um, yes, um, it's a... Um, Yes, it's on a layer, and um, I show um, here the um, this is uh, only a small picture with this uh, dimensions, and let's see what we get. Uh, let's share this picture, save it as a JPEG, save. And in Pro in Nomad Sculpt, we want to get this, um, and the um, resolution as the scene vertices are twelve thousand six hundred vertices, um, low poly, and this works. Um, with a web application and I tested a lot of um, converters and this one has really good uh, results. Um, okay, uh, you can convert here from JPEG, you can choose here your file format and um, your output format here STL and um, now we load our picture here and STL and convert it. It takes a few seconds. Let's wait. What happens? This is live. Now we can download the STL file, save, okay, and now let's go to Nomad's Cult and we can add, import, add to scene, yes, and this is um, this file, it looks like this, and I zoom a little bit in. And this is the result we we get from the ST um, extrude STL extruder, and this is not really nice at the moment. Um, let's scale it down a little bit, and I hide the other one. And the trick is um, to to use the remesh. Um, now we can uh, do a voxel remesh and here you can choose keep sharp edges or not and uh, now let's um, remesh it with a, a higher resolution. Remesh and now it looks a, a little bit nicer and the next step is to uh, use the decimation function and let's see what happens um, and here uniform faces um, we can use this um, in this range and let's test it decimate it and here Now, now it flattens the object and do such things. And let's go a step back, you see what the decimation does. Okay, and when you got this point, 
you can do another voxel remesh. Remesh it and uh, do the same again with a decimation. Let's zoom a little bit in. Let's try one, one more step. It's a okay. And with a remesh, voxel remesh, you can do it um, a few times. Um, like this and let's try it with the uniform faces okay let's do a last time a voxel remesh and see what happens okay i think it's now clearer and at this point we can use also the smooth function and um, smooth some parts a little bit. You can play around uh, with it. Um, there's a lot of um, things possible with this method. And I think now it's uh, the shape is okay. Okay, let's paint it. And here's the smooth shading. Um, yes, if you uh, don't need so uh, so less polys you can uh, do multi-resolution and subdivide it one or two times um, to get cleaner shapes or more um, more resolution or here we rounded it now a little bit we can go back and keep the flat subdivision to get a little bit more topology and turn the wireframe off Yes, it's a workaround um, yes, to test and to get such um, um, 3D objects of a 2D image. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.